why shear force diagram is so critical how to draw shear force diagram in this video i will explain how to sketch shear force diagram using intuitive understanding of structures this is part of my video series on the i structure certificate in structural behavior if you are a structural engineer looking to improve basics of structural engineering this video is for you so grab your pen and let's get started with our first example by the way if you're new here i'm dr javed qureshi a senior lecturer in structural engineering and design let's start with our first example here we have to identify the shear force diagram ignore self weight anti clockwise shear forces are positive what it means is that upward forces are positive and downward forces are positive and they are creating anti clockwise moments and how these forces are drawn on a baseline positive forces are drawn at top of the baseline and negative forces are drawn at bottom of the baseline let us see what options do we have to solve this question there are four options to choose from the first step i would always take to solve these questions is to draw the deflected shape and find out the direction of reactions this is a crucial step in finding shear force diagram you actually don't need any values to be able to validate your shear force diagram so here see that force is applied at the end of the beam what it will do it will bring this beam down and the deflected shape will be like this this means that you will have upward force over here and you will have a downward reaction at this point and we do not have any udl or uniformly distributed load this means that the diagram will look like straight lines so if there's any inclined line it means that the option is incorrect i will firstly solve this by using process of elimination and then i will put some values and try to solve it in detail as well here see that option b it has got inclined line this inclined line is not possible because it is just there for distributed loads and as there is no distributed load so i can easily discard this option secondly in option a as well i have this inclined line it looks like there is some distributed load over here that is causing inclined line it means that i can discard this option as well and also i have inclined line over here in option c it means that i can discard this as well so now the only option available is option d which means that this must be correct i will go back again and have a look at the direction of reactions so first it is going down and then going up and then again going down so let us see if we can use this to draw this shear force diagram going down it means that it has to be drawn on the negative side so diagram is going down and there is nothing in between and over here we have a reaction so that's why it is going up and between this point and this point there is nothing so it will remain straight and at this point we have a downward reaction that will bring this shear force diagram down it means that we can easily solve this question by process of elimination if we have options but how about if you don't have any options then in that case you assume some values and then try to solve it let us now assume some values and try to solve this problem we have a pin support over here let's draw this say we have a point load of 10 kN we have reaction over here i call this as a b and c 4 meters and 2 meters i've assumed these distances let's say some moment at a is equal to 0 it will be 10 times 6 it's creating clockwise moment so that's why it is positive minus i call this as vb and va minus vb times 4 is equal to 0 so it means that VB will be equal to 60 divided by 4, which means it will be 15 kN. If VB is 15 kN upwards, we have total load that is 10 kN. 
it means that v should be downwards so can i say that v a is equal to minus 5 kilo newton or if you want to write it as positive simply draw a downward reaction over here and say it's positive now i'm ready to draw the shear force diagram at point c following this sign convention upward forces are positive and downward negative i will go down by 10 and between b and c i have got nothing and at b i've got 15 it means i will go up this is negative and this is 15 and between point b and a no force is changing it means i will not be 15 this will be 5 because we have 10 over here so at this point we will have 5 kilo newton so this is not drawn to a scale so please draw it to a scale i did it in a hurry so that's why this happened and then it can bring down because reaction over here is 5 kN, so this is 5, I call it as positive. In this way we can draw the shear force diagram. Let's move to the next question. In this question again we have to identify the correct shear force diagram. Ignore self weight, anti-clockwise shear forces are drawn on positive side. What it means? Is that we will be following this sign convention and positive forces above baseline negative below baseline let us first of all see what options do we have as we have distributed load over here this means that we will have inclined lines as option c does not have any inclined lines it means i can easily discard this option option a is starting with the load as there is no load at all at the end it means that this option can be discarded as well between option b and d i'm more inclined towards option d because the reason is that at support it is taking a reaction so reaction will push the diagram upwards here it is not going up so in my opinion the right option is option d as simple as that but we have to confirm it with the help of simple calculations by assuming few values let us see how we can solve this problem firstly i will draw this frame i'm assuming here we have 10 kilo newton load applied and i'm assuming this distributed load is 10 kilo newton per meter and these dimensions are four meters and two meters and the height of the column is 4 meters. There will be reactions over here. I call this reaction as VA. And I'm directly assuming that HA it will be in opposite direction to this one. 10 kN, this is horizontal. And VB. Let us see how we can solve this. I call this point as B. Let us say summation of moment at a is equal to zero minus vb times four this vb is creating anti-clockwise moment with respect to a and 10 kN per meter so 10 times six is the total load and this total load is acting at half of the distance which is three meters times three and it is creating clockwise moment with respect to a so that's why i will add it up plus i have this point load as well 10 kN. this 10 kN is again creating clockwise moment with respect to a so plus 10 times 4 this is equal to 0 this will give me vb is equal to 220 divided by or it would be 55 kN. once i've got vb i can easily find out va total load in the system is this udl times the span it is spread on that is total vertical load so a span is 6 2 plus 4 6 plus udl is 10 kN per meter it means that the total load is 60 kN downwards vb is 55 upwards it means what is remaining here the remaining is 5 so va should be 5 kN once you have got loading then you can easily plot this let us see how we can plot this one 
I've got upward reaction of 10 sorry not 10 5 5 kN 10 kN here 10 kN per meter so firstly I will draw this line this will be 10 times 2 it means 20 and at this point it is 55 so this value I would say 50 not 55 20 take away 55 it will give me 35 35 and then I have UDL UDL is 10 kN per meter and multiplied it with 4 it will give me this value as 5 as I have distributed load so that's why it is inclined and this 10 kN is pushing the frame rightwards so it will go right it will be 10 kN and then it is being pushed back as I have a reaction of 10 kN over here and I will say that this is negative this side is positive and then again this is negative and I'm saying this is negative as well because in frames SFD the direction is like this the positives are drawn outside and negative is drawn inside the frame for any frame so this is a sign convention which I have used over here if I follow this logic then option D is the correct one as I said earlier option B does not make much sense to me so option D is the correct option if you have been trying along with me did you get this answer as well so it's always a good idea to try it yourself and then compare your answers with this video